A gluten-free company in Grand Rapids is doing things a little bit differently in the way that they make their food, but more notably in the way they hire their people. Doug Reardon looks at their progressive practice and digs deeper into the issue they're trying to solve. Doug? Yeah, good afternoon, guys. It is really difficult for people who just finished time in jail or prison to get a job. People are just skeptical to hire them, plain and simple. So when Elliot and Marshall Raider started Gluten Free Brothers, they did something unique. They stopped asking their employees about their criminal pasts. Now they want other companies to realize the resource they could be missing out on. We make good for you food in good for you ways. Meet Elliot and Marshall Rader. The two brothers were diagnosed with celiac disease in their late 20s, making it uncomfortable at best to process the protein. It actually damages your intestine, joint pain, stomach pain, skin issues. At the time, Elliot was in tech. Marshall was in paint sales, and neither could find any good gluten-free options that worked for them. So they started making their own. The gluten-free world has come a long way since then. Now a zero-waste facility that runs on solar and wind energy. Gluten-Free Brothers is available on major retail shelves after opening just 10 years ago. But a closer look at the company shows they're doing more good than just making good food. Yeah, when you locked up, you away from society, you lose a lot. This is Daryl Streets. Got out and haven't looked back. For an armed robbery in 1983, Daryl got 20 years in prison when he finally got out in search of a job. I went through a lot of different temp services with the broken promises that the company is going to hire you. Company after company rejected Daryl for full-time employment until he found Gluten Free Brothers. Last year, they hired him full-time. Oh, yeah, I'll make it. Daryl now works at the same facility as his wife and pays his bills comfortably. It was much more than a stroke of good luck. Lucky, no, I'm blessed to be here. I can pay my bills. <laughs> I, can, I can go home proudly. I think the shortage of labor is forcing the conversation in the right direction. Tony Gant is a policy analyst with Nation Outside. The group advocates for returning Michigan citizens after their time has been served. Gant says for once incarcerated people like himself, it's one of the hardest things to do, but it shouldn't be. There are all these people that really do want to work, and a lot of data shows that people with criminal records or formerly incarcerated people are going to be some of the best employees that, you, that you're going to get because they have, one, they know they don't have a lot of opportunities, and two, they have something to prove. Because Gluten Free Brothers banned the criminal background question on their application, they couldn't tell me how many of their employees actually have criminal records. It's more about getting good work for them and for their employees, work period. Daryl wishes more places would do the same. It would be a nice thing because you got a lot of ex-inmates like me. We're willing to work, but ain't nobody willing to give us a chance. And we should note that right now in Michigan, both Kalamazoo and Detroit, those cities have municipal bans on the Ban the Box initiative. That means any contractor doing work for the city worth $25,000 or more cannot ask employees on that project about their criminal backgrounds on the applications. In the studio, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.